Hey guys, Gun Collector 87 here. Coming back at you with another video here. Um, today we have a Ruger SR22. Uh, if you've never saw one of those, but uh, maybe you're familiar with a Wather P22, uh, sort of in that line of field, uh, sort of in that ballpark there. A uh, nice little compact 22 pistol, little semi-auto here. <clears throat> so I picked this up in a trade uh, actually just yesterday. So I wanted to just field strip it and look at it. Um, I know the guy I got it from, super reliable. I'm not worried about gun being in bad shape. Just basically just want to do a video on it. I'm not worried about... Um, this gun being misused by the previous owner, so I know all that's going to check out regardless. So, <clears throat> if you've never put your hands on one of these little guys, they are pretty interesting. They feel a lot like the Walther did, uh, in my opinion. And the Ruger is, um, you can see it right there, maybe. It's very faintly in there. But, you know, this gun, it's been used, been shot, and that's all right. <clears throat> As you can tell, the mag's out. Nothing is in the chamber. So, to disassemble this, try to pull her all the way back. I believe you're going to flip your tab, and you might, yeah, you just basically just lift up on the rear of the slide and it'll pop right off and that's all there is to that all this is together this is all one piece it is I think the Walthers are like that too it's been a while since I had a Walther <clears throat> I had the P22 a while back, and I, I can't remember if it was all one piece here or not. But these are pretty nice little guns. They're, they'll shoot just fine. Now, my Walther, I have, haven't shot this Ruger. Now, my Walther was a little picky on ammo. I don't... I don't imagine this one here will be... I'm sure the fella already broke it in and all that. So you do have an ambidextrous safety switch here. Um, and another thing about this gun, it does have a magazine disconnect safety, um, which prevents this firearm from being fired. Say, if you was carrying this, I don't know, I'm not a big person on carrying a 22 for personal protection, but say you was and the magazine was dropped from a firearm, somebody, the uh, perp was tussling, you and him was tussling or whatever, and he got his hand on your weapon a little bit and he hit the mag release, the mag come out, uh, that disconnects your gun. So basically your gun would be useless until you put this back in. Well, I'm not a big fan of that, but... Heaven forbid if a kid or something gets a hold of it, that probably would be a good safety idea. If a kid got a hold of it somewhere or another and uh, he drops this, the gun can't fire, which is a plus on that end. So it can go either way. It's definitely not a deal breaker if I was buying this gun new. I really wouldn't worry about it. Uh, still... A nice little piece, no doubt. Well, it's got some wear, but it's all good. That's how you know it's been shot and it's been reliable. It's got you an accessory rail right here. Whatever you would like to to put on it. If you want to put a little light on it, you could. Now, some smaller frame guys and some gals out there, you might want to you might like something like this to carry in your purse or something. Um, it's definitely not a real heavy piece. It's not going to be a real heavy gun to carry around. Uh, <clears throat> you get two of these 10 rounds, and I actually ordered 
two more from Grab a Gun. I think it was $38 and then 5 bucks shipping. I'll tell you guys, shipping will deter me faster than the price of anything. If I buy, I don't know, if I buy a magazine or accessories or something and they're going to charge me $20 to ship it, I'll go somewhere else. Um, and another thing here, you got a threaded barrel. You take this off here. You can put your compensator on that. Get your little silencer on that. Be fun. You could uh, cough louder than what the gun would be at that point if you did that. <laughs> uh, your rear sight back here is adjustable for windows and elevation. You got a visual port over here. I'm sorry, right there. That will um, if let you know if you got a round in. Uh, nothing's going to pop up. It's just going to be a actually divot. That little hole here you'll be able to see the brass casing. Um, sort of an oversized trigger guard here. Uh, if you're out maybe shooting in the winter or something or whatnot, you will, if you're wearing some gloves or something, this larger trigger guard will help out a lot. You have an ambidextrous slide release or mag release, both sides, as well as a safety. And of course, that's your slide release here. So the whole frame here is a one-piece polyurethane uh, with reinforced fiberglass. So it's another why. Other words, it's going to be pretty durable. Not too bad of a pistol. Pretty good little gun. And then of course you got little grooves on your hammer there. And it's uh it is a 22, 22 long rifle. Um here's a box here. If I can scoot this away here and bring it back. Here's your box. You got your another mag right there, another grip. Here's your extra thread adapter for your compensator, your lock, your wrench tool to actually take your thread off of your barrel, and then you have a nice little case, soft case here, guys. Like I said, this gun is used in really good shape, I think. I think it's in good shape. Not a bad gun. But now if you wanted to clean it right now, this would be a prime time. You could just clean her up from here and go from there, guys. Let's see here, what else? I've been wanting one of these for for a little while now. I had my uh, Walther P22 that really just didn't impress me much. Jammed on me a lot, and I went shooting with a friend quite a while back probably two or three years ago and he had a uh, SR-22 and it did well. Didn't jam or anything. His, his was fairly new too. So I got high hopes for this little gun. We're going to get it out. Shoot it as soon as we can. We'll just give her a clean over. Go through it and wipe it off. It's not too bad. Won't take too long guys. Pretty good little piece here. Uh, I don't have no scales to weigh it or anything. So I'm not too sure what the weight is. But, nevertheless, it's a good little piece, guys. Alright, guys. Well, I will sign off here. Thank you for watching, guys. And gals, appreciate all the comments, by the way, on the other videos. Thumbs up to you. If I can get them in here. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up for you guys. Um, please keep on doing that. Uh, not trying to go big like the other guys just doing something I enjoy doing and all your comments love talking to you guys please if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that and like and share also guys gun collector 87 signing out take care guys